What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panyuta for Tutorials.eu. This video is a little announcement for my ASP.NET Core course that I've just released. And I worked together with Bruggen Patel in order to make this possible. He's an ASP.NET specialist having created a bunch of amazing courses in this field. And as you probably have seen my ASP.NET Core video on my channel already, basically this is the complete course, right? So the YouTube video is just the first third of the whole course and now you can get the full course and the link for it is in the description so just check it out it's a highly discounted link so you should definitely check out that link or use that link in order to get the course and then let's qu quickly look at what you're going to learn throughout this course so basically you're learning to build web applications using ASP.NET Core. And in the first part of the course, I'm going to teach you all of the basics of ASP.NET Core, in which you are going to learn how to use the entity framework, how to set up a database connection so that you can then use the CRUD operations in your application. So CRUD stands for create, read, update, and delete, which are the core operations of every application that has any sort of database connection. Okay, so we're going to build a little expense tracker as you have seen in the YouTube video already, but we're going to extend it a little further. So in the YouTube video, you don't learn about the expense types. So let's look at that real quick. So here we have this application where, first of all, we will start with my borrowed items where you will see a list or you can create a list of items that you borrowed or lended. This will help you to have an understanding of basically what items you are still expecting from someone or what you will need to get back or give back very soon. And then you have my expenses, which is the second part of that little application. So we're going to do the expense types as well, of course. So basically in this application, you can create your own expense types anytime. You can update existing expense types. So if you want to change that to, let's say, must instead of must spend, then you can change that real quick. You can also get rid of entries here so just click delete confirm and you're done or you can create a new expense type anytime and then of course in the expenses you can now go ahead and create the new expense and then select from the existing expense types okay and then of course you can also update existing expenses anytime or delete them so these are the crude operations that you're going to learn to build and this expense types thingy that's where things become a little more complicated because we need to use this vm pattern so that our application still uses strongly typed views, which is a very important concept whenever building clean applications. Okay, so that's what this part from me and that you cannot see on YouTube is important about. And then in the second part of the course, Bruggen will teach you everything else you need to know about ASP.NET Core that can really get you started with your new career as an ASP.NET Core developer, which is a highly paid job in comparison to other basic skills, so to speak, all right? So it's really relevant whenever you want to progress in your career. And in that chapter, you're going to build a real world application, which will be an appointment application in which you basically can create appointments at your doctors and the doctor can then see which kind of appointments were created and you can then approve appointments or decline appointments and basically see those appointments in the right format. So this is something that potentially a customer of you could need. And this will, of course, teach you how to build this appointment application, but a lot more along the way, because it's not just about this appointment application, but it's about the skills that you're going to acquire throughout this journey of building this application. And then, of course, you have a couple of challenges as well, which will really help you to make sure that you are fully aware and understanding of what you have learned, okay? So it's really important to not just have listened to it, but actually have been actively participating and building something. And of course, what you don't get on YouTube, which is really a, the most important part is the Q&A. So you're getting support from Bruggen because he's going to take over the support part. He's a super specialist in this area and he can really help you out to get to the next step, okay? And then of course, as always, there's a 30 day money back guarantee, okay? So you're not losing anything. If you don't like the course for whatever reasons, you can just give it back and you will get the money back no questions asked. And now the only thing that's left to do is click on the link in the description below to get to the landing page in which you can then buy the course. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to teaching you something. I'm very grateful for that. And I wish you a nice day and a nice journey to becoming a great developer.